I'd like to take a couple of minutes to just introduce you to some of the authors behind the incredible range of ideas that are captured in the book. So, for example, we have Gray Scott, the founder and lead editor of Serious Wonder magazine, who's exploring how we're going to live in a world that will be increasingly digital and, and simulated. We also have Bill Halal, Professor Bill Halal from George Washington University, who's one of the leading technology forecasters in the world. He's exploring how a range of quite powerful and disruptive technologies could reshape every aspect of our lives. We then have Ian Pearson, a futurist from the UK, many know him as a former futurist at British Telecom. He has some really interesting ideas around how we could enhance the brain and body over the next two decades and how we'll be using technology to completely change our interactions with the world around us uh, at the body level. We have Peter Cochran, former head of British Telecoms Labs. He's exploring how the Internet of Things and, and an Internet of Internets could evolve and how that might change our whole understanding of how we communicate through technology at the local level. We have Mari Conway, uh, former chair of the Association of Professional Futurists, one of the most widely respected futurists in the world from Australia, exploring the ideas of how you can embed future thinking into your organisational strategy process. We then have Gert Leonard, uh, a really internationally renowned futurist coming from Switzerland, and he's exploring some of the challenges we face in a world where technology is advancing so quickly. How do we change the relationship between man and machine? There are concerns today that the machines will take over and will become servants of the machine. And he's exploring how, we, how do we make sure that when we have robots in society, when artificial intelligence is penetrating every aspect of our lives, how do we make sure that humans stay in control and that we preserve humanity in the face of that? We have Cornelia Darheim, uh, an eminent futurist from Germany, exploring the way in which people are starting to embed futures practice into corporations and how they're using it to drive deep insights into what comes next and enable new strategies. We have Dana Kilsanin, who's a, a real authority on the slow movement, who's highlighting the value of slow thinking in creating tomorrow's organisations. Peter Haraldson is an entrepreneur, an innovator, and a very big picture thinker from Iceland. And he has some really powerful insights into a world where we may have banking, but we won't have banks, and how community-based funding systems, new thinking, new digital currencies could change the entire structure of the economic system. And Boysen is a really well-respected futurist from Norway. She's examining how generational shifts could change the way people work in organisations and how organisations need to adapt to the generations coming into the workplace. David Wood uh, is the chair of London Futurists, a fast-growing meet-up group and a real platform for people to share ideas. And David's provided some fascinating insights into how the political system needs to evolve to reflect a changing and increasingly digital world. Andrew Charlton is an authority on the aviation sector and he's provided a really compelling set of arguments for why the aviation industry needs to evolve rapidly to keep pace with technological change and to keep pace with new and evolving societal expectations. BJ Murphy is an editor for Serious Wonder magazine and a number of other publications and he's written a fascinating chapter exploring the idea of how in the future, body shops where we go in to have physical enhancements to our bodies could be just as commonplace as the tattoo parlours and nail parlours that we have today. Kevin Wheeler is one of the world's leading authorities on the future of human resources and talent, and he explores how organisations will need to adapt their talent management strategies to respond to the kind of changes that are being explored in the rest of the book. Uh, Laura Goodrich is an internationally recognised expert on change and the future of work and she gives us some powerful insights on how organisations need to develop flexibility and adapt to the kind of changes that are coming our way and ensure that we're always one or two steps ahead of the game rather than always responding to what's happening.
we have some very interesting chapters on the cutting edge of technology and brain science. Uh, so Martin Dinov and Andrew Vladimirov uh, have uh, explored where brain science might be heading and how our understanding of the brain and how our interfacing of technology to the brain could evolve quite rapidly in the next 10 to 20 years and what that could mean for society. Vinay Gupta is recognised as one of the leading authorities on the emerging cyber economy. He's uh, the release architect for a platform called Ethereum, which is, if you like, the next generation on from Bitcoin. And he's talking about wholly new concepts about how we'll value everything in society that come from our learning of creating platforms like Bitcoin. Callum Chase is uh, an internationally recognized author and expert on artificial intelligence. Callum is exploring uh, how quickly artificial intelligence is evolving, how corporates are adopting it, and how it could impact a range of sectors over the next 10 to 20 years. Claire Nelson is a White House champion of change, ideation leader, and she explores the role of storytelling as a powerful futures technique to engage the organization in thinking about tomorrow and thinking about how we can respond to what comes next and how we can explore the unknown in a way that gives people a sense of certainty about navigating an uncertain world. Alberto Rizzoli is uh, a young graduate, an entrepreneur, an innovator, who's provided a really compelling set of views about how the education system needs to evolve, both to respond to technological change, but also to prepare people to survive and thrive in an uncertain world. We have uh, a very interesting chapter from Joyce Joya from the USA, who's one of the most established futurists and international speakers on the future, exploring how organizations will change their structure and the new kind of roles that will need to emerge to help us navigate an uncertain world. Jim Burke is uh, well recognized in the futures community as an expert practitioner, and he provides us with some very powerful insights on how design thinking is now being embedded in futures practice and how organizations can use design thinking to create the future. Alexandra Whittington is uh, a faculty member at the University of Houston's Foresight Program and an eminent futures researcher, and she's exploring some very powerful scenarios for how the mobile technologies of tomorrow could be embedded in and reshape society. So we have an incredible array of authors. I haven't listed them all, but what you'll see in the book is a very powerful set of ideas that share the very latest thinking from these incredible future thinkers. I really would encourage you to dip in, immerse yourself and celebrate the future with these incredible people.